I just know I miss my son. I miss my champ. Mm, a mother's anguish continues, even as her son's killer is sentenced to the maximum allowed by the law. ABC 21's Corinne Rose sat in the courtroom today as the family of a barber gunned down watched a judge deliver the killer's punishment. He fled out. <laughs> Took my son away. It's been difficult for Deborah Causey ever since that April afternoon when her son, Michael Levette Jr., was gunned down outside his barber shop. He'd had an argument with 35-year-old customer James Dodson about religion and told him to leave the shop. Dodson did, but came back later and shot at the man people called Champ 17 times, hitting him with seven of those rounds. I can't even get up sometimes. Like I, 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 I say, God, please get me up because this is too hard. The prosecutor praised people for stepping up to help solve the case. We had witnesses from all um, levels of the community. You had some who lived in the area, you had some that were just driving by, and this is a great example of when people come forward how justice can be served. During the judicial process, Dodson was consistently belligerent, even calling out in the courtroom after he was convicted, quote, at least I'm still alive. His behavior did not change during his sentencing. It wasn't easy because of the way he was acting in there. No remorse, smirking. You know, they had to show the, the, the lawyer and him the picture of my son, and he flicked it off like it wasn't nothing. In fact, he even interrupted the judge and swore at him as he was pronouncing the sentence a maximum 87 and a half years behind bars. He has no respect for the process. He has no respect for the grief of the victims. And he's just like his mom said, that sounds like an, a wicked person to me. State law says Dodson must serve 75% of his sentence, which means he would be released when he's 100 years old. Dodson says he plans to appeal. Corinne Rose, ABC 21. The prosecutors tell us they're still looking for a second man they say was with Dodson when he murdered Levette.